My father passed away when I was four years old and he had his first heart attack at 24 and he had his fourth and fatal heart attack when he was 31. So why do we want to diagnose people with FH? And the reason is to prevent suffering and death. It is a, a genetic cholesterol disorder, meaning it's something that you inherit from birth. It results in very high cholesterol levels that then result in earlier uh, heart attacks and strokes. When I saw that this genetic disease affects one in 250 people and less than 10% knew that they had the condition, I just knew that something had to be done. People do not understand it's a genetic condition and that it has nothing to do with weight and very little to do with lifestyle. If you have familial hypercholesterolemia, FH or somebody in your family does, then their kids have a 50% chance of also having that. It's completely preventable in the sense that once we diagnose with someone with FH, we have numerous treatments to get their cholesterol back to almost normal. So we can change someone's life course, uh, but we have to figure out who has it first. The issue is we know a lot about FH. We've learned a lot from all the research that's been done over the last couple decades, but we haven't put all of that into practice. There's still many patients who aren't being diagnosed. Even if diagnosed, they're not being treated. We have to take what we've learned and put it into practice. The reason for optimism is we're at a time now with electronic health records, with genetic testing, that we can easily identify a significant proportion of patients. People don't have to die young of heart attacks and lose fathers and family members. I am so thankful to the foundation and all of the staff for bringing us together and for caring about us and for getting the word out and trying to, to find the other people who have it and say, don't be afraid of it. Mm -hmm.